Australopithecus africanus lived in the Middle Pliocene to Early Pleistocene of South Africa. In terms of skull structure, it is very similar to that of Afarensis, both species having ape-like and human-like features. Human-like features include a reduced sagittal crest and sizes which are very small and no gaps between their teeth. The sagittal crest was needed for the attachment of large temporalis jaw muscles. The size of the sagittal crest decreased over time as the diet shifted towards food which did not require grinding tough plant material and therefore not needing the muscle power that went along with that. Paranthropus boisei, for example, had a very prominent sagittal crest due to a diet of fibrous plant material and hard abrasive nuts and seeds that required a lot of grinding on the molars and large temporalis muscles to support this. Diastema became lost over time because as the canines became reduced, gaps between teeth were no longer needed to accommodate the enlarged lower canines. While Africanus had smaller teeth than Afarensis, analysis of their dental remains found more scratches than pits. This suggests that Africanus ate tough foods but also had a varied diet of softer fruit and plants. Ape-like features include some prognathism of their teeth, a small but defined brow ridge and a low and backward sloping forehead. Prognathism became reduced over time as the jaws became lighter and smaller. Earlier hominins had a protruding jaw owing to the large bones and muscles to support large teeth. The brow ridge became reduced over time as the smaller and lighter jaw required less muscle attachment. This resulted in less strain exerted on the cranium by the jaw which meant that heavy brow ridges were no longer required to relieve the load on the facial bones. Notably, this was one of the last features to diminish as even Homo neanderthalensis had significant brow ridges compared to Homo sapiens. Very prominent brow ridges can be seen in the earlier hominins.